All right, we're back for round three. We're on the draw this time. We're playing against Jeff Cunningham, who, if you're not too familiar with magic history, he's an old, uh, famous magic writer from like the mid 2000s. I think he won a pro tour back in those days or something. But either way, I'm keeping this hand on the back of our one and two drops oh, up against mono red. Well, it looks like we get to see the full power of our sideboard because the only cards we haven't sided in yet are the uh, Sunscourge champions. Being on the draw against Mono Red is not ideal. Seeker Squire is very good in this matchup, though, if we're able to find a Black Source. See how fast the start is. He's going to braid my Minister right away. Alright, let's cast. Hmm. Probably strategic planning first. Looks like one card deeper. Alright, I'll take Concealed Courtyard. See what he's got. On crop crasher is pretty good. It's not looking too good for the home team. Um, pretty sure I want to tap cast a creature this turn. Probably the Seeker Squire. Don't have high hopes for this game, but another concealed courtyard. Yeah, he's just curving out like crazy here. Sometimes Mono Red does that. Take six. Something else. We might just be dead on board. Get new rivulet. I can hostage taker the on crop crasher. And then we have Blocker, blocker. Yeah, we're not dead. I mean, we're basically dead, but at least we're not dead on board. Force him to cast something else to kill us. Lightning strike kills me. Maybe he's out of gas. Maybe this game's not over. If I can cast this Angel of Invention. Okay. So I'm going to prefer not to kill the Earthshaker Kendra because he can unearth it next turn. So I'm just going to kill Karizev in the Bomat Courier. Oh, he's just going to Bomat Courier now. See if I'm dead. Might be. Well, can't complain too much with how good his hand was performing there. But we'll go to three. Maybe now I do just kill the Earthshaker Kenra. No, it's the same either way, I think. God for his gift. If we were on the play, maybe this game was more interesting also, but he just kind of nut drew us there. Did what Mono Red does. So, we want Fumigate. We want... Uh, probably don't want all four hostage takers. I do like having some, because they're going to bring in like uh, Hazarets and Glory Bringers that we're still going to want to answer. Sunscourge Champions obviously come in. Vraska's Contempt I like. Um, what do I not like is the question. I like basically everything. You can cut one Hostage Taker, cut a couple Champion of Wits, cut a couple do-nothing cards like Chart a Course. I want to keep some of my card uh, velocity though. I don't want to trim on the engine because that's like one of our main ways to win is just to steal it by uh, casting one of those. So maybe I just cut another hostage taker. I can bring in another one on the draw, possibly. And I'll just cut like one more do nothing to drop, something like that. Hmm, maybe I'd rather have that than like one of the gifts. No, I don't, know. I don't think I like that. Because I do want to have the possibility of some nut draw potential. We'll be on the play. Ugh, I do keep this one though. Seeker Squire is good. Two threes in general are really good against uh, Mono Red. Bowmat Courier. Let's 
see if the Seeker Squire finds me. Chart a course, I'll keep that on top. For Shaker Kenra again. Cast Chart of Course. I could activate Raid, but I actually want to get this gift in my yard. Uh, play Evolving Wilds. Pass the turn. Hmm. I kind of wanted him to cast an abrade or a, something to remove my guy there rather than do this. This is a lot less good for me. Grab a planes. Take five. And I'm going to cast refurbish, even though it doesn't do anything right now. But next turn I can Ipnu Rebulet myself and strategic planning. So next turn we can uh, get the ball rolling. Hopefully find an Angel of Invention to put this game away. If he hasn't a braid, like we're gonna lose either way, so I'm not gonna play around that. Scavenger grounds also, but he did, lacks the land currently. Let's see if he sends everybody in. He does. So I'll block one of the Kenras. Actually, I think I'll block that Bomac courier. No, I'll save myself damage. He already has five cards in hand, so. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Save myself as much damage as possible. See if he has a magma spray maybe post combat or just a shock. Soul Scar Mage is fine. Okay, so let's start with strategic planning. Seeker Squire is okay, but not great. Let's take Evolving Wilds, I guess. Then I'll play Rivulet and I'll sacrifice it right away. Targeting myself. Hopefully finding an angel. Oh, we did. We found two of them, in fact. So that might put the game away. Put counters on it. Send for six. Then we even get to refurbish another uh, God Pharaoh's Gift next turn. And get two creatures back. So even if he hasn't a braid for this God Pharaoh's Gift. Yep, and he just can't beat that angel. Got a little bit lucky there that he was stuck on land, but... Um, what do we want to change? Not much. Like the strategic planning chart, of course, gets even worse on the draw because they do nothing to impact the board on turn two. Negates, I think, are too slow on the draw, especially. Like if I had spell pierce, maybe I'd consider it, but against them, like that's not how we're going to win. So I don't know if I want to change anything. The only thing I might consider is like a hostage taker. But I'm not sure what I'd want to cut for it. Everything else is too important. I'm not going to cut the engine. Certainly not cutting Angel or Fumigate. Not cutting Sun Scourges. Could cut a Champion of Wits, but I like that it's cheaper. All the two drops, all these two drops can stay in the Ministers. So yeah, I like everything else better. I'll just keep the Singletons, which is like a safety valve. KC is going for like the glory bringer or hostage uh, taker or glory bringer or uh, hazard plan rather. Could also consider cutting a land, I suppose. But the thing with this deck is, like, it hasn't come up much. But uh, the mana does get awkward when we're trying to cast like blue spell into black spell into white spell, and there's like a couple double mana colored requirements. So. Even though we don't need the card, the land quantity, we do need the uh, the color distribution. We don't want to mess with it too much, so cutting a land could cut into that. Hmm. Well, this hand's fine. If we find a God Pharaoh's Gift and put it in the graveyard in the first couple turns, this hand can just turn four win, assuming he doesn't have an abraid. Just have to hope we don't die in the meantime, basically. He's mulliganing though. So he puts a scry, put it on the top. No one drop. 
All right, so let's go grab, hmm. I would like to get a swamp. Thing is, we're gonna have to take damage off this Ipnu Rivulet if we wanna curve out. But that might be worth it with this hand. Either way, we'll pass. Let's see what he does with his turn. But I think we do want access to the black. Nothing on turn two either. I think that's good for me. Concealed courtyard, huh? Uh, okay, yeah. Rivulet strategic planning. Seeker Squire is pretty good. Crasher. Um, yeah, probably just cast Champion here. Again, we're going to have to take some damage off the Rivulet. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us. Ooh, okay, that was pretty fortunate. Discard Gift and Angel. And hope that perhaps he doesn't have mana untapped for a braid. Bowmite Courier. He's gonna exert. So I go to 11. He is leaving up mana, so interesting decision here, what we want to do. I guess I shouldn't have played that land, because I might want to Seeker Squire this turn. I can refurbish the gift, and then if he abrades it, I can do it again next turn. And if he abrades, I'm only taking one damage at the moment. If he plays something else, it might be more, but I think I do want to refurbish here, just because I have the backup. So an abrade isn't the end of the world here. I'm like almost 100% sure he has it, but yeah, like this is not the worst thing. Because he doesn't have enough pressure right now to deal me a million damage here. If he taps low, I get to do it again. Shock is fine. He might be leaving up mana again, though. He is. Yeah, I'm just going to play two creatures here. No need to do it yet. Ooh, Angel of Invention can stay on top. Now we're just kind of playing a normal game. Let's also cast Sunscourge Champion. So now he has to beat our board in addition to holding up a raid to potentially answer the, the threat of a God Fero's Gift coming down. Just waiting for him to tap low enough that we can uh, safely go for it. It might not happen, but it's also not a guarantee that he has the other braid in his hand. I'm just making the safe play in case he does, so I don't die immediately. He's casting something now. Might just be a lightning strike, or he's cashing in as a braid. Alright, he is. If he has a hazard, we take 9. That's fine. Then we get to refresh back the Angel of Invention, and probably win the game from there. Alright, Scavenger Grounds is pretty good also. Oh, but he's tapping out, so this is going to go pretty well for us. We're going to take 9, but then we're going to get back the Angel and hit back for 6. Get back the Gift. play another blocker. I don't know if you can actually beat this Angel of Invention. It's gonna have to hope that those three cards are something special.
sure. You just can't do anything. Alright, this is going pretty well. So this minister actually uh, is interesting for us because we can still mill ourselves even though he's scavenger groundsing us. So we'll draw. We also have the rivulet if we want to do that. Alright, Champion of Wits will pretty much lock it up. Because we get to discard this Angel of Invention and get it back immediately. And that should end the game. That actually is lethal this turn, in fact. So we just attack for 14 in the air. All right, mono red down, and uh, I think I'm going to call it here because I have to go to bed. But uh, we used basically our entire sideboard over the course of those three matches. We beat three very different decks, and I'm very happy with this how this deck performed. So uh, I would highly recommend it for your next event if you're looking for something sweet to do. But thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.